Hello, my name is Tom Holoin and I'm a graduate student in the Astronomy Department at The Ohio State University. I'm also a member of the All Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae, or Assassin, and today I'm going to tell you about our recent paper titled Discovery and Observations of the Unusually Bright Type II Supernova Assassin 13CO. The Assassin survey uses four 14-centimeter telescopes in Hawaii and two 14-centimeter telescopes in Chile to scan the visible extragalactic sky roughly once every three days, looking for supernovae and other bright transients. Bright transients. Our transient detection pipeline was triggered on August 29, 2013, by a source located about three arc seconds from the center of a spiral galaxy at redshift 0.023, corresponding to a distance of about 90 megaparsecs. Archival data from SDSS and 2MASS indicate that the galaxy shows signs of recent star formation, and we announced the discovery of this transient in an astronomer's telegram, naming the source Assassin 13 CO. Early follow-up spectra indicated that it was a core collapse supernova, the first ever discovered by Assassin, and we began a follow-up campaign to characterize this interesting object. We requested and obtained swift space telescope images of the source in the optical, UV, and X-ray. We supplemented these with both photometric and spectroscopic observations from a number of ground telescopes. These follow-up observations span roughly four months after the detection of the supernova. Follow-up spectra, shown here at various epochs, indicated the supernova was a good match to a standard Type II plateau, or 2P, core collapse supernova. These supernovae are characterized by long periods of steady brightness after explosion, creating a plateau shape in their light curves, and typically exhibit absolute V-band magnitudes between negative 15 and negative 17. This is in contrast to Type II linear, or 2L, supernovae, which shows steadily declining light curves. As can be seen in this figure, comparison to two standard Type 2P supernovae indicated that Assassin 13CO was a good spectroscopic match to these supernovae at multiple epochs. However, our initial follow-up data indicated that the supernova peaked at an absolute V-band magnitude of roughly negative 18, quite bright for a Type 2P supernova, and that its light curve was declining more rapidly than expected. In order to investigate this behavior further, we performed host flux subtraction on the photometric measurements and used the subtracted magnitudes to fit the supernova's light curves using the model recently developed by Peyton Prieto 2014. This figure shows our host subtracted photometric measurements and spectroscopic velocity measurements and the multiband light curve fits from the Peyton Prieto model. This new model is entirely phenomenological and was developed to fit type 2P supernovae. However, as can be seen here, it does a good job of fitting Assassin 13CO as well. The fits indicate that while Assassin 13CO was a spectroscopic match to a Type 2P supernova, its photometry seems to be a better match to a Type 2L. Recently, there has been disagreement about whether there truly exists two separate categories of Type 2 supernovae, or whether they can show a continuum of light curve shapes. Anderson et al. 2014 concluded that Type 2 supernovae have a wide range of light curve shapes. In comparison of Assassin 13CO with their data seems to indicate that it does not neatly fall into either the Type 2P or the Type 2L category. Here we show the absolute V-band light curve for Assassin 13CO compared to a sample from Anderson et al. 2014. Here it is obvious that Assassin 13CO is quite bright for a Type 2 supernova, and we can see that while its light curve does decline steadily, it seems to do so at a somewhat slower rate than comparably bright objects. Based on this, Assassin 13CO seems to exhibit an unusual light curve shape, perhaps corroborating the Anderson et al. result. The Peha and Prieto model also fits the bolometric luminosity and other properties of the supernova, allowing us to perform additional comparison between Assassin 13CO and other Type II supernovae. In this figure, we plot the bolometric luminosity over time, with Assassin 13CO shown in red and comparison objects shown in gray. Assassin 13CO was atypically luminous compared to these other Type II supernovae. Our conclusion is that Assassin 13CO was an unusually bright Type II supernova with an atypical light curve shape that does not match that of either a Type IIp or Type IIl. This provides evidence that Type II supernovae should not be divided into two categories as they traditionally have been, as they can exhibit a wide range of physical and observational properties that cannot be quantified by the simple distinction between 2P and 2L. Assassin 13CO also provides a good example of the usefulness of both the Peyhan Prieto model and the Assassin project. The ability to extract physical quantities from the multiband light curves of a supernova with no theoretical input 
makes the Pehan Prieto model a powerful tool for examining the diverse properties of these objects without biasing our results. The Assassin project is now finding roughly half the supernovae on the sky with V-band magnitude of 17 or less, and the fact that our first core collapse supernova proved to be as interesting as Assassin 13 CO did indicates we will likely find many similarly interesting objects in the future. If you'd like to know more about this work, please see our paper, which is posted on the archive. Thanks for watching.